Wow, this is cool. This is the... Wow. No, it's cool actually. Ready to see something cool? All right, we're gonna turn this baby on. I'm gonna see what comes out the back here. Only water and water vapor. Isn't that mad? This is the future, guys. All right, ready? Cool, huh? So cool. When I first saw that, I was like, oh my God, it really is just water. <laughs> so cool seeing it drive the first time. Like, have you ever seen a nose that pointy? What he's driving around right now is their mobile fueling center. So this is where the public would come and refuel their hydrogen car. So they're working on cars, but the technology is a main part of this Hyperion company. So you can literally order one of these and place it wherever you want to, and then lift it up, move it somewhere else. It's like a caravan refueler. When it's going slowly, it doesn't make any noise. But then when you go fast, it like screams at you like you're watching a horror film. <laughs> Holy moly. Here it goes, out into the sun. Wow. They're actually solar panels. How cool is that? Those solar panels soaking up some sun. Can't wait, can't wait. I actually drive this. <laughs> Look at this, guys. How epic is this? So this is all water vapor because this car right here runs purely on hydrogen. Now this is called the Hyperion XP1. So hyper means beyond and ion means the highest point. So this is beyond the highest point. Whatever you're thinking right now, like, ooh, beyond, what is this? This is beyond what you're thinking, right? This car actually uses technology developed by NASA. Yes, you heard that, developed by NASA on this car. But first, look at this. What in the world? Look at this, it's, a, it's an air blade that wraps around the car. Now, two cool things about this. This helps with aerodynamics. And this right here, all the way through here, is actually solar panels. So this, when the car is parked, it will actually move towards the sun so it can power the electronics inside the car, so the lights, etc. Now for better aerodynamics, this actually moves. Wow, check that out. How cool is that? So as you go around corners, these will move independently. You see this one's down and this one's up. Look at that, so freaking cool. When have you ever seen this before? Holy moly. Now this is traditionally where you would have the engine, right? But it does not have one because this is hydrogen powered. So instead, this is where all of the little water vapor is collected and then it shoots through the back here. So you have absolutely zero emissions. This is only water, which is just crazy. And this right here has over two thousand horsepower and it runs on hydrogen all right now watch this guys what <laughs> just look
look how crazy this car is, you guys. Holy moly. Right, come over here. You have two little inlets for air or oxygen. Why do they look like this? This is actually the hydrogen molecule. If you look at a hydrogen molecule, that's what it looks like. So there's all these little design features around the fact that it is run on pure hydrogen. Now over here, these are oxygen intakes, so air intakes, but they're not really used for what a traditional engine would use them for, right? We're getting a bit technical. I've actually stayed here for four hours learning about how a hydrogen powered car works. And I was like, wow, they air intakes? Like what's the deal with them? They do provide a little bit of cooling, but when you split the hydrogen atom molecule, when you split the hydrogen molecule, what happens then is it needs oxygen then to reformulate. So once you've split the hydrogen <laughs> molecule in order to get the energy from it, you then feed oxygen back through here and that's how stuff is done. I mean, I'm very technical about this. Where do you get hydrogen from? Where in the world is hydrogen from, right? You can get it from the sun and water and wind. Right, so when you look at the design of this car, they've taken those three elements and put it in here. For the water element, you've got this blue here running down the side. And actually what's cool is it travels all the way down here. You see this into the, into the brake and then along the side. So that's the water element, right? This kind of wave. The sun element, of course, the solar panels here and the wind is like the aerodynamics that they built into this car. So you'll see how the wind travels through this car. You've got all of these kind of air intakes here, right? And up through here, around here, goes straight through. So you've got all of these elements where you can generate hydrogen from. Right, I've got a fob. Look, we all love this stuff. All right, jump in. Let's see the interior and what it does. Oh! things light up and stuff we love it all right so you got this little cut off steering wheel here this is your center console so look massive screen here and this is actually to put it in drive you pull this over and down i'm going to drive this in just a second right we're going to put this in here watch
The car's back. Awesome. All right, how epic was that? Oh, seeing it out on the roads. This is very, very, very rarely actually taken out of this facility. So we are very, very lucky um, to get those shots. And the kind of reactions we got, I mean, I'm surprised we didn't get into a crash because everyone was like slowing down, getting their phones out, like filming us. It was crazy. So this is the prototype. And I don't know, like I'm really excited about actually seeing production version of this car out on the roads. A massive thank you to Hyperion for taking their time today to uh, bring us into the fold. Yeah, you guys rock. My God, thank you so much. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the Supercar Blondie channel because this is where we get the coolest stuff. We're out.